In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thee amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in, in God, God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
Sick of his sorrowful passion. 
mercy. We trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Mic, mic test. Mic test. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Second Sunday of Easter and Divine Mercy Sunday. Our presider for this afternoon's Mass is Most Reverend Bishop Onesto Antioco Didi, concelebrating by Reverend Fathers Herbie Santos, Abelash Joseph, Santos Digal, Joseph Cachao, Aldred Ordonez, 
Wong Turingan, Joy Sebastian, CJ Mortella, Jun Bermejo, Jegan Yusedos, Roque Reyes, Ricky Montañez, Norlian Julia, Jack Cabarles, Ronald Macale, Fred Narvasa, and Marta y Espinido. Please stand and let us join the choir in singing the ancient hymn.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Your word is mass to thank the Lord as we celebrate our 41st fiesta. And it's always on the second Sunday of Easter, which is also known as Divine Mercy Sunday. Each day, we experience the mercy of God. It's a gift that He gives gratuitously to all that they may experience His presence in their lives. So, my dear friends, to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask forgiveness for all our shortcomings and sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. of everlasting mercy who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own increase we pray the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font 
they have been washed by whose spirit they have been reborn by whose blood they have been redeemed through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen Please be seated The first community of believers though poor is noted for its attitude of sharing by the power of Jesus resurrection the followers of Christ are now on one heart and mind sensitive to those in need. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A believer who holds that he or she is loved by God is inspired to love God in return. To keep God's commandments is a joy and not a burden. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by Him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Gospel. Together, peace. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, 
and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing and make the sign of the cross when the bishop bless us with the book of the gospel. Pinagpala at magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Happy Fiesta! Kanina po, nabanggit ko 41, but I was told by Father Herbie, it's our 31st Paris Fiesta. And um, he's the 7th Paris priest. Ano po? So, something about numbers, something about the... Uh, image and then about the gospel. So about the number uh, 17 po kami ngayon. Okay? And uh, 17, that's my birthday, <laughs> is also the apparition of the sacred to St. Margaret Alokwo. It speaks about God's love that is always poured into our hearts. And so this uh, Divine Mercy Sunday, it speaks about God's love and God's mercy. Yung pong theme natin, from what I understand, it is endless grace. Another word for endless is unlimited. Unlimited call, unlimited rise. <laughs> Lahat yan may bayad. Pero when we say unlimited grace, it's not just an ordinary thing that we are referring to. The first place, this grace is God-given. Hindi to karapatan ng tao. Hindi masabing, this is your right. God gives His love, His mercy, gratuitously. At kahit na nung tayo nagkasala, Paano nabayaran ito? Hindi sa isang pangkarero yung parang mismong sa kanyang dugo at buhay. And this what the image of the Lord, the Divine, our Lord, the Divine Mercy reminds us. Alam po natin, this feast was established by St. John Paul II on March 30, year 2000, during the canonization of St. Faustina Kolwalska. And there were 14 apparitions 
and revelations to Saint Faustina. And the first apparition was on February 22, 1931. Reminding Faust, Saint Faustina to share with people. First, to paint a picture that she herself uh, experienced the image of Christ, seeing Christ. Christ told her, sabi niya, please make a painting of what you have seen. It's Christ vested in white, and then uh, from his side, from his heart, two rays, pale or white and red. White reminding us of our baptism, our union with Jesus, our share with his life, and in his mission. And then red, reminding us of the Eucharist. Greater love than this no man has, that a person gives his life totally for others. And this is what we celebrate, what we experience every time we celebrate the Eucharist. And then there's, according to St. Faustina, the promise to those who celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday through confession, communion, they are assured of being receiving pardon of their sins and their punishment. And then also those who come praying for the intention of the Holy Father, fulfilling all that's necessary, confession, communion, they will be receiving plenary indulgence today. So, salamat po sa inyong pagdating. And then also what Jesus said in the gospel refers to you, to me, to us. Blessed are those who believe and yet have not seen. None of us have seen the historical Jesus and yet we are here because we believe. And we know when we gather and celebrate the Eucharist, He is with us. And every time we receive Jesus in Holy Communion, we receive the same Jesus who offered Himself at Calvary, the same Jesus born in Bethlehem, the same Jesus who gave Himself His body and blood at the Last Supper. Sana we are aware of this reality. A lot of people, they queue in, they fall in line, you know, they receive communion. Not, you know, uh, considering the fact that what, it's not what, whom they receive is the true Jesus. Who loves us, who gave himself totally and selflessly to us. Sana po, every time we receive communion, reminder, we do it reverently. And when we say, Katawan Cristo, body of Christ, Amen. I believe I know, Lord, my eyes cannot see that, but I believe with all my heart. Sana ganun po ang ating disposition. Okay? So, yung pong endless grace, endless, sabi nga, unlimited, because in one of the notes of St. Faustina, she mentioned about God pouring His love, pouring an ocean of graces, Ocean, nakakita na kayo ng dagat, di ba? Kapag tumimpo tayo sa dagat, parang walang hangganan, as if it has no end, no boundary. And that's true. When we speak of God's grace, God's love, God's blessing, it is unlimited. It speaks about generosity. And this kind of generosity has brought about healing, has brought about salvation. Healing, not in a simple way. Healing as through his wounded self. Siya ay nasugatan upang paghilumin tayo sa ating pagkasugat sa kasalanan. So it's very difficult to understand and yet this is the truth. Kasi sabi nga sa Old Testament, Kung papano napakalayo ng kalangitan sa lupa, ganon kalayo ang pamamaraan, pag-isip ng Diyos sa pag-iisip, pamamaraan ng tao. And yet, this is the wonder of God's love. 
Makita natin ito sa Ebanghelyo. Jesus appears to His apostles. And this is the first time after He was crucified. Resurrection. Kung kayo si Kristo, first time mo makita itong mga kaibigan mo na tinuring mong malapit sa iyo and they assured you we will be with you we will journey with you pero nung nangyari na sila ay tumakas tumakbo walang natira except of course John at during the crucifixion pero lahat tumakas tumalikod nilaglag si Jesus kung ikaw kaya si Jesus Pag nakita mo for the first time, yung mga naglaglag sa'yo, yung mga tumalikod sa'yo, yung inaasahan mong magtatanggol sa'yo, ma iniisip mong matalik mong kaibigan, ano kaya sasabihin mo? Siguro kung ako, manunumbat ka. <laughs> Hindi ka pala maaasahan, ano? Pero anong sagot ni Jesus? Very simple. Peace be with you. Iba talaga ang Diyos. Iba ang iba. Tatlong beses sinabi niya, Peace be with you. Ano yun? Kalimutan natin nangyari. Let us move forward. With me, you will always have my embrace, my patient love, my suffering love. Kaya po, pag nagpapakita si Jesus, lagi nandun yung kanyang mga sugat. To remind us of what life is about. Following Jesus doesn't mean you will be exempted from difficulties from the cross because that's how He saved us through the cross. We will be victorious. Kaya we can come to Christ only by touching His wounds. Today, we see the wounds of Christ. In poverty, in the poor, those who are neglected, those who are rejected by society. Nabanggit ko na po dito, yung aming apostoles, last Holy Thursday. They are the street dwellers. Yung isa nakausap ko, 12 years na sa kalsada. Marami sa kanila, ang kanilang bahay, isang malit na kariton. At yung isa, dahil sa isang barangay, Ayaw sila, sa harap niya sinunog ang kanyang kariton. Yung isa, tanging isang aso, misan yung sigurong aliw niya, kahit na pobre siya, kinuha. Tinutok sa isang tambutsyo, pinaandar yung sasakyan, hanggang namatay yung aso. These are the wounds of Christ! Salamat sa inyong pagtugon, nandyan ang ating pansamantalang Tirahan. We don't want it to call it kulungan ng mga babae. And I know you give catechism, 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 so catechism lessons. Nagbibisita, yung basa nyo, nagdadala ng mga mapakinabangan ng ating mga kapatid na sa piitan. Thank you. Thank you for realizing the wounds of Christ in others. Sa mga mahirap, Salamat sa mga Biblia Rasal, sa mga iba't ibang inyong mga formation, pati na po yung mga SSDM ninyong gawain. It is meeting Christ with His wounds. At ito ang magpapahilom, magpapalaya sa atin. Kapag alam natin kilalanin si Kristo, makatagpo sa ating buhay araw-araw. So napakabait, hindi matatawaran ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Si Tomas, sabi niya, hindi ako maniniwala hanggat hindi ko na ipasok ang aking daliri sa mga sugat na iniwan ng mga pako at ang aking kamay sa kanyang tagiliran. Very patient ang Panginoon. Anong nangyari? After one week, pinagbigyan si Tomas. <laughs> Tomas, halika na nga. Oh. And yet because of that, we have the best experience Expression of what faith is from the heart, my Lord and my God. Simple, but it's a confession of true faith. Kay Saint Faustina, 
Diba? May signature, sabi ni Jesus put there, Jesus, I trust in you. So, araw-araw tayo ay nasusubukan, lala kapag tayo dumadaan ng mga pag, uh, matinding problema, krisis, bibigay ba tayo? Sana hindi. Kapag naglalakbay ka, kasama mo si Jesus, kahit ano, mahaharap mo. Bakit? Nagtagumpay na siya sa kanyang pagkabuhay. He's victorious. He has defeated all kinds of evil, even death. So we have nothing to fear. So face life, face the difficulties of life with the recent Christ dahil hindi pa po tapos ang Easter story. Patuloy pa rin dahil nagkakasalang tao. The Lord continues to liberate us. The Lord continues to offer Himself as it were for us. Pero yan ay dahil mahal ka niya, mahal tayo. At walang makakapagpigil sa Diyos, mahalin tayo kahit ano gagawin niya para makabalik ka lang sa Kanya. So thank you for all the many programs where you engage yourself so as to meet Christ touch His wounds so that you can experience Him in your neighbor, in your fellow man. Ang pagpipista po natin ay hindi lamang sang araw, ngunit araw-araw sa magbunga ito ng kabanalan sa ating lahat. When we talk of God's grace, God's mercy, think of an ocean that is endless. Nandyan yan. Laging handang ibuhos ng Diyos sa iyo at sa lahat ng nagtitiwala sa Kanya. Blessed are those who believe and have not seen the historical Christ but believe in His presence. Amen. Stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn to the Father through our Lord Jesus who plunges us into His infinite ocean of His mercy that is greater than sin, evil, suffering, and death. In His loving mercy, we have victory salvation, and eternal life. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For the leaders of the church that believing in and experiencing the Lord infinite mercy, they may always proclaim it to the God's people. We pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. For our local and national leaders, like the Apostles, they may attend and needs of our communities and work for peace, unity, and progress, we pray. God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. For those who, like Thomas, live in doubt and fear, that peace and forgiveness of the recent Christ may strengthen them to face life, challenges, and difficulties, we pray. God, God of, of mercy, mercy, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. 
For all of us gathered here, that we may immerse in the ocean of divine mercy and live as a ministers of the Lord's peace and reconciliation, we pray. God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, may they experience the infinite mercy of God in heavenly paradise, we pray. God of mercy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community and our personal intention. We pray. God, God of mercy, mercy listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. God our Father, in Jesus, you have shown us your boundless love and infinite mercy. Teach us to love you in return and trust our lives to your love and mercy and serve you in our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, we come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts were brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. This bread and drink, this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
till you come again, till you come again, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Every time we imitate Jesus' unconditional love and selfless service, the kingdom of God comes into our life. We pray that the kingdom of God may come daily into our lives as we pray. In the very words, Jesus himself taught us. Sa amin, mga 
sana para lang pagpatawad namin sa kapasayang sa amin at wag mo kami pahintulot sa tukso Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
shared as one breath. Here in our hands, here in this place, Jesus, our own life from God.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel and let us pray the Divine Mercy Prayer. All together, please. You explore Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday, our fiesta day. Activities are as follows. After this Mass, we will be having the procession in honor of the Divine Mercy. Then at 8 p.m. as 1 PLDM, we will have our very first Gabi ng Pasasalamat, the PLDM Street Party, at the PLDM grounds. Please take note that there will be no 8 p.m. Mass to give way to our fiesta event. The Couples for Christ North B6B chapter is inviting all married and soon-to-be married couples in the upcoming Christian Life program entitled A Servant's Heart. The 8 series seminar will help couples develop deeper awareness of God's call to spiritual development and transformation. This will be held on April 20 to June 8, 2024, from 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. at the PLDM Centro Divino. For more details, please inquire at the parish office or approach any CFC member. At this point, may we call on Father Herbie to share the good news on One Million Graces the Divine Mercy Fundraising Campaign. So muli, magandang hapang po sa inyong lahat. Happy Fiesta po. So last Sunday, no, we began our fundraising, particularly for the maintenance and upkeep of our pastoral center and to fund our pastoral activities for the next year. No? So the title is One Million Graces because we aim uh, to raise one million pesos. No? So, Binubuo natin yung Divine Mercy image sa harap ng simbahan, tile by tile. Each tile is uh, a different amount that you can donate. No? And lahat ng mga nagdo-donate, they fill up the prayer cards. And the prayer cards are offered during the Mass. Pinagdadasalan during the Mass, binibless at pinagdadasalan ng ating prayer warriors. No? So, nung una, sabi ng mga organizers din, na, tsaka yung team, sabi nila, Father... Uh, when do we start? Sabi ko, ngayon na, Easter Sunday na. Sabi nila, one month po ba ito to raise one million? Sabi ko, no. <laughs> this has to be finished by Divine Mercy Sunday. Kasi, sabi ko, binubuo natin yung image. And the image is the one that gives many graces to souls. This is what Jesus said. Whoever venerates this image will receive many graces. Kaya dapat, by Divine Mercy Sunday, buo na yung image na yan para makatanggap tayo ng 1 million graces. So, nataranta sila kasi Easter Sunday yon. By, by today, dapat mabuo na yung 1 million pesos. So, pati naman ako kinakabahan. No? Sabi ko, kaya-kaya natin 1 million in 7 days. Tapos nakita ko nakalagay doon sa ilalim ng imahen, Jesus, I trust in you. O sabi ko, sige, Jesus, 
Kaya natin to. Ikaw ang divine mercy. I trust in you. And so, last night, we were able to surpass 1 million pesos. Praise the Lord. <laughs> With the divine mercy, nothing is impossible. So for all of you who are part of this, makikita ninyo yung inyong tile dun sa image sa harap. We will keep that image in Centro Divino as a reminder of God's wonderful graces to us. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for supporting this project. And thank you for helping us with our pastoral programs, with our works of mercy. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat. For more information on any of the parish activities, please inquire at the parish office or through the PLD Messenger. Thank you for your attention. Please stand for the insensation of the Divine Mercy image and blessing for the One Million Graces petitions. Show us, O Lord, thy mercy. And grant us thy salvation. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, we praise, adore your eternal majesty. We thank you, O Lord, for all the graces you bestowed upon us in front of your merciful sight, most merciful and loving Lord, we offer these petitions with the love that sprout from our hearts. Accept and bless these supplications and make these supplications a reminder of your unfathomable love and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the rite of turnover and handover of Divine Mercy image. We will now bless these mementos. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we come to your presence with hearts full of thanksgiving. We ask you, Lord, to bless these mementos with your unfathomable grace. May these mementos be a reminder of your endless love to the family on which these mementos will be enthroned. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this juncture, may we call our outgoing hermana to hear some words. May this memento be a reminder 
of God's unfathomable love and graces bestowed upon you, keep this memento as a center of your faith, hope, and devotion to God's mercy. At this juncture, may we call our outgoing Armana to hear some words. Puri natin ang Diyos. Praise the Lord. May the grace, love, and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. It has been a year since our parish chose us, the Bautista and Vitangkol family to be the Hermana Mayor of the 2024 Fiesta Celebration of the PLDM. We can't recount how grateful our hearts to be a part of this yearly celebration of God's community, propagating His mercy and love. Like St. Thomas of today's Gospel, we also utter my Lord and my God. When we learn that the divine mercy will be with us throughout the year, the Lord brought us so much joy, not just to our family, to our neighbors, but also by serving our parish community. We would like to extend our warmest gratitude to everyone who together with us participated in this wonderful celebration of His mercy, grace, and love. As we celebrate the 31st Paris Fiesta, may we also be reminded that all these things we do and are for the glory of God. Thank you and God bless us. Dear brethren, God's grace and mercy are immeasurable. We give our gratitude to the Lord for sending you to us. With hearts full of joy, we ask you to accept this pilgrim image of divine mercy. We pray that this image be a reminder of his love and mercy to your family. As you enthrone this image, May His love and mercy reign to your heart and your home. Dear brethren, with hearts full of joy, we accept the pilgrim image of divine mercy. We promise to help in propagating his message of love and mercy, not just to our household, but also to our community.
May this pilgrim image of divine mercy be a reminder of God's unfathomable love and graces. May this pilgrim image serve as a center of your faith, hope, and devotion to God's mercy. And so we thank our outgoing Hermanas for their service to the parish the past year. And we thank you, our new Hermanas, for their generosity in accepting this responsibility and honor. Palakpakan po natin sila. May we call on the PPC coordinator and BMA coordinator to have some final picture. So uh, I hope you can bear with me just a few minutes, no? Because we just like to uh, acknowledge uh, those who have made this celebration very beautiful. First of all, we would like to thank our bishop, who is a very loving and fatherly bishop to us. Maraming salamat, Most Reverend Bishop Honesto Ongpioko, D.D., Bishop of the Diocese of Cubao. Please accept this humble token from our parish to you, Bishop, as a way of thanking you for officiating our Fiesta Mass this afternoon. Also, I'd like to acknowledge our concelebrants. First of all, here with, beside me is our uh, vicar for clergy for the Diocese of Cubao and also the Shrine Parish Priest of St. Joseph Shrine. None other than our former parish priest, Father Ronald Makale. Of course, I would like to also uh, acknowledge our uh, concelebrants this afternoon, Father Joy Sebastian, CMF, Father June Bermejo of the uh, Opus Dei, Father Norlan Julia of the Society of Jesus, Rector of San Jose Seminary. Father C.J. Mortella, CMF. So, uh, also from San Roque Parish and uh, our future parish priest, Father Ricky Montañez. We have Father Roque Reyes of the Opus Dei. They help us with our confessions on Sundays. Of course, Father Alred Ordonez, one of our homegrown priests. <laughs> Father Fred Narvasa, from the Diocese of Cuba. <laughs> Father Santos Kumar Digal. <laughs> Father Joseph Cachao. <laughs> Father Jegan Yesudos. <laughs> Again, one of our very own homegrown priests, not other than. Father Marty Espinido. Uh, of course, our resident guest priest, Father Abilas Joseph from Kerala. And Father Jack Cabarles. So, maraming salamat sa ating mga kaparian. Also, I'd like to uh, mention very quickly our sponsors. Salameda, Castro and Garcia family, Claire Guhit, Jackie Desena, Ong Kingko family, Rose Carnacer, Modacura Water Refilling Station, Dori Abadilla, Silvia Posadas, Liz Juan Pamayanan, Architect Johnny and Edith Medinba, Kobe and Rachel Luxin, Melanie De Vera, Florante and Lea Gato, Architect Orly and Mirna Mateo, Bernadette Cuevas, Alex Stephen Hanna Cordero, Art Attorney Narciso Tadeo, Marisa Tison, Mystery of Altar Server Parents and Guardians, Estrella, Padilla, and Family, 
Uh, Julie Salameda in family, Dr. Caroline Castro in family, Olive Garcia in family, Dr. Emmanuel and Marimel Bautista, Mr. Emmanuel and Marimel Bautista, Dr. Mildred Vitangkol and Florita Vitangkol, uh, our marching band sponsors, Gigi Veray, Olive Garcia, Dr. Caroline Castro, Capitan Michelle Cruz, Grace Gavi, Nerissa Garcia, Mina Peñano, Mary Ann Sayoc, Susan Romero, Aaron Castello, Agnes Felix, Pilar Nenuka Almira. Also, acknowledgments for those who served in this Mass. First of all, the worship ministry with Brother Raj Caballero and Sister Merlin Notario, Assistant Worship. Uh, ministry of Altar Servers, Ministry of Lectors and Commentators, Eucharistic Ministers of Holy Communion, the mod, uh, Ministry of Greeters and Collectors, the Liturgical Music Ministry, the Mother Butler Guild, the Social Communications Ministry, the Liturgical Committee with Brother Angelo Mogro, Brother Christian Chuna, Brother Anthony Labnau, and Brother Stephen Echeverry. Also, our Josefinos, our San Jose Seminarians, maraming salamat. Our parish pastoral council headed by our coordinator, Brother Toti Vivel. And for sponsorships, carosas, decorations, etc. So, we would like to thank our Hermana outgoing, Dr. Mildred Vitangkol and Florita Vitangkol, Mr. Emmanuel and Marimel Bautista. Also, uh, we acknowledge our incoming Hermanas, Elma and Annie Aldai, and family. For our altar decorations, Mr. and Mrs. Nikki Chato, and Efren Chato, and uh, Sister Marimel Bautista. For the Carosa, we thank St. Joseph Shine, with Father Ronald Macali, and Brother John B. Our St. John Paul II statue, Father Jojo Zerudo, and Brother David Glover. Our stage design, Brother Phil Benegra and Brother John Ballod. Uh, Mrs. Esther Putian, Mel Gonzalez, Benji Santos, and Dr. Chan. Sila po yung may-ari ng mga bahay dyan sa likod ng ating stage. Also, we acknowledge the help of our barangays. Si Katuna headed by Michelle Cruz and Council, Barangay Botokan and Council, Barangay Malaya and Council, Barangay Yupi Campus and Council, Barangay Tanods. Our parish staff, Ivestro Dan, Munding, Nato, Alma, Maine, Ronnie, Tere, Mayumi, and Phil. Our parish youth ministry, headed by Sister Hilary Estrella. Our elite star marching band. Our BECs and Pamayanan heads, headed by Sister Cora Villanante. Our Knights of Columbus, uh, headed by our Grand Knight, Eric Gonzalez. Our Divine Mercy Apostolate, headed by Sister Iris Bernardo, our Bingo Committee, Cultural Night Committee, Palarong Pambata Committee. And finally, Kubao Media, who is covering us today with uh, Yana Villajos, Philip Rufino, Earl Alpay, and Eric Guanlao. So we are online all over the whole Diocese of Kubao. <laughs> so kung meron po akong nakalimutan na uh, Diyos na po ang bahala sa inyo. Siya ang magagandipala sa inyo. So don't forget, uh, our uh, meron tayong procession after this, Divine Mercy Procession. And this evening, we will have our street party. Gabi ng pasasalamat. No? So don't forget to join that. It will be a fun night. Merong parafol. <laughs> Baka manalo kayo ng appliances. No? At uh, also food will be provided. So again, Maraming maraming sa inyong lahat for being here, for being part of this very special 31st Fiesta celebration. And I ask that the Lord of Divine Mercy will bless you and all of your families. Maraming salamat. Happy Fiesta. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to, cons to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him 
in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. We now pray the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be, Be our, our defense, defense against, against the wickedness and snares, and snares of, of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell, hell Satan, Satan and the and other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. souls. Amen. Amen. Can we have the hermanas, please, for the picture taking, uh, the Vitang call and Bautista?